We're, we're getting to the point where um, autonomy, commuting becomes a luxury mm -hmm. that uh, everyone can afford right. with relative ease. And what does that do to the dynamics of how people commute? How far do they go outside of the cities? Yeah. Because the ease of getting from A to B no longer takes, you know, that stress of like an hour, an hour and a half, two hour commutes. A lot of people in big cities like LA, New York, they commute two hours into the city, two hours to come home. Right. That's four hours worth of like full brain, you know, exertion and stress. Yeah. That you're not necessarily going to have to deal with. And I mean, what do we, what do we think? Like how far off are we from press the button? We get to some level of generalized full autonomy where we've got a fleet of say a hundred thousand robo taxis. I mean, is it, is it in 26? Is it in 27? I say we're, we're, we're at that tipping point and right. to, to, to add, I've, I've seen the breakthroughs where my friend in Seattle, his dad is in his eighties and he doesn't, you know, not that he doesn't trust him as a driver. He'd rather have FSD take him around right. as an 80 year old man. Or if I've heard stories where, um, this person that has a, a medical condition, my friend, has is has a lot of anxiety driving in general, yeah. and that would relieve his condition of being able to, to navigate throughout the whole city mm -hmm. with freedom and have a car, and and not rely on Uber all the time for those right. minute situations or have the car be more personal. 